hello fifth year how are you today i hope you are happy and fine well today is thursday the 30th of august we are going to go to unit 10 because uh, we have finished unit 9 bye bye unit 9 hello unit 10 and we are going to revise relative clauses defining and non-defining relative clauses so pay attention because you are going to write your own examples yes we are going to work on vocabulary from the units yes okay uh, remember uh, that all the new words must be in cuaderno de la A a la Z que tenían que hacer, yes, um, organizarlo, ok? Al final de todas las unidades vas a tener el cuaderno lleno de las palabras de la A a la Z, yes, ok? Um, we are going, these words, take place, put on, find out, are some of the words from unit 10, yes, from unit 10, 100 that is, uh, th that is uh, page 103 from the class book. We are going to work today on 102, 103, and 104, okay? And as homework, you're going to do the exam minus minus pages 60 and 61, only the grammar part, one and two, exercises one and two, and you're going to do competition, composition number two from the list, okay? And composition number two from the list in the quadernillo is um, an essay. Is it better to have online virtual friends or real life friends? Okay, between 140 and 190. Yes, okay, and you have mass words on the one hand, on the other hand, in my view. Yes, besides, profi profile, fake, face to face, have something in common, take up. Okay, so um, this is very important. Whenever you are going to write, um, an essay, uh, a report, or anything, revise how to write an essay, revise the language and everything that is in the last part of the book, yes, okay? You have a grammar reference and you have a writing reference. Is it clear? Good. So, remember today you have to hand in the video, three minutes video, do you think uh, robots could replace Teacher Root, Teacher Robert could replace, replace Teacher Root, okay? This is to evaluate you in the oral part, okay? Well, um, can we go to uh, pages 102, 103, and 104? I want you to put the rate, yes, okay? And first of all, I'm going to explain, I'm going to, um, you know, um, project, yes? Some pictures from the units. We are going to talk and I want you to use this picture for describing them and for doing the talking. Is it clear? Good. Well, so the first one, the first one is um, uh, a festival, a very important festival, yes, okay, and it is a national festival of film, yes, okay, uh, a, an international festival of film, yes, okay, and it's in Cannes, I think everybody knows Cannes, yes, it is famous for, uh, you know, yes, uh, famous for uh, the majority, the great, the great variety of uh, nice films, excellent films, and you know many many famous people, actors and actresses go there. Yes, okay. Then you have um, Coachella. Yes. Uh, well, many uh, bands go there. In this case, Radiohead. Uh, Lady Gaga, yes, and everything, yes, again, okay, many bands, yes, okay, but, you know, this is in California, yes, and it's a very known, well-known um, uh, festival, many people go there, yes, okay, Okay, well, the, the same Cannes, yes, festival, the Cannes, okay, 
It's in France, it's a festival of film, yes, okay. Then you have the Domatina Festival that is in Buñol, Spain. <coughs> and I want you to describe the picture, what you can see there. And what is the thing they are throwing to each other? Tomatoes, yes, okay. And it is in Buñol, Spain, yes, and it's a very, very famous um, festival. Then you have the Oktoberfest, yes, okay. This is in Munich, yes, and it has been famous since 1810, yes, okay, so, oh my God, it has many years, yes, okay, so it is in Munich, yes, all right. Well, of course, you know that people dance there, drink beer, yes, and they say the beer there is yeah, amazing, it's delicious. Well, you have the beer festival, yes, the Tomatina festival, yes, okay, the Cannes festival, yes, okay, Coachella, is, uh, this is art and music, yes, and it's a very, very, very important, um, more music, Yes, but they say it's arts and music, yes? And many people go there and you know, the place is very nice because you know, California is very, very, very beautiful, yes? In the valley, yes, of Coachella, yes? Okay, so I want you to, produce, to play the, all these pictures again and describe the festival. And I want you to tell me which festival would you like to go and why? Yes, okay. I would like to. I don't drive. I don't drink beer because I don't like beer. But I would like to go there because they say it's amazing. They say they dance, and I think I would like to know Munich. Yes. Um, I wouldn't go to the Tomatina Festival. Yes, because I don't like people throwing um, food. Yes, okay. And I don't like this kind of festivals, yes, okay? Um, well, I, will, I would like to go to Cannes Festival, yes, because I like cine, I like films, yes, okay? And I think uh, you could meet, yes, a lot of famous people. You could see them, yes, okay? And of course, my favorite one could be the Coachella uh, Festival, because I would like to know California, because I think one day I will go there. And I think uh, there, there you can listen to many, many famous bands, okay? Is it clear? Good. So, now I want you to go to the book, yes, pages 102 and 103, and we're going to Yes, remember to describe these pictures because at the end, in the final exam, yes, what we are going to do, I will project different pictures and I will make you to describe the pictures and talk about the topics, yes, I have talked during all the year, yes, okay, but this part is for you to talk and say which festival would you like to go and why, yes, and describe the picture and what happens and where, uh, uh, is this famous festival or are these famous festivals, okay? Well, that was uh, exercise one, yes, and then you have to read the article and for question one to ten, choose from the people from A to D, yes, okay? So this is the text, Kylie, Steve, yes, and you have to choose, yes, okay? Which person mentioned the appearance of someone, some of the local people? And apart from that, you can know local people, yes, how they interact between each other. And of course, many people go there from different places of the world, yes. So now they are, of course, all cancelled, yes, okay. And there were many people that bought, has al had already bought the tickets. And I don't know what happened if they give them back the money. Of course, I think, yes, they, they will have some kind of refund. Appreciate the, la the range of events and activities for all ages. Was impressed by the magical quality, blah, blah, blah. So you have to read, yes, read all this, yes. And highlight, highlight, yes, all the, all the words, yes, here. The words that I copy on the board, yes. 
but on the text because we are going to work with these words. Yes, after exercise two. Yes, okay. Good, good, good. Well, now is the time that you do the text. Yes, you stop the video and do the activities. But first of all, yes, first of all, what's the meaning of take place? So, the Coachella Festival takes place. Y van a hacer una frase, una, one sentence with take place. The Coachella Festival or the Tomatina Festival takes place in uh, Buñol, Spain. Yes? Okay. That is happen. Then you have lit up. What's the meaning of lit up? Illum illuminate. Illuminar. Yes? Y lo tenés uh, en el texto de still. Está subrayado. When they, uh, when they, when they are lit up with lights and lasers, it's like something out of a fairy tale. Yes, okay? So, lit up. Yes, okay? Melt away, be become liquid. Put on, you know what put on is, wear, find out, discover. Yes, you have to find out and you have find out where is it? In San Chenzo. Yes, okay. Uh, it says, I am a big fan of hip hop and I thought I could, it would be great opportunity to find out, find out more about it. If you go to the Coachella Festival, you can find out um, many things about artists that you have never been, have never listened. Yes, okay. Uh, try out, experiment. Yes, with. Yes, try out. You have this one here in the same text in Censo. I also try out a bit of exaggeration to call it art. Yes, okay, good. Um, well, you can try out in Coachella Festival, you can try out, yes, art. Yes, okay. Feel like, yes, have you ever felt like going to Coachella Festival? Yes, okay, so I want you to write sentences, as I said, yes, with these words in your, in your cuaderno from A to Z, from A to Z, Z, okay, is it clear? So let's go to exercise two, 1A, 2B, 3C, 4B, 5D, 6A, 7C, 8A, 9D, 10C. Always remember to stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? Number one, experiment with, try out. Number two, happen, takes place. Number three, be different from others, stood out. Yes, okay, stood out, different from others. Stood out, different from others. Yes, okay, it's in Shenzo. And I guess I, took, I stood up a bit, but everyone was really friendly. I stood up, out, yes? I was different from, yes? Well, has it ever happened, uh, for example, when you go to a new group or when you go to a new school, you stood up, you stand out, yes, okay? Are different from others, yes? Um, lit up, yes? Okay, number four is lit up, illuminate. Five, where, put on, find out, discover. You have to find out the answer, yes, to this question. Yes, feel like, want to, and melt away, become liquid. Yes, okay? Well, number four, in number four, yes, of course you have to do all the activity first and then listen to the answers. You have to complete with the verbs from exercise three. First of all, you have to write your own sentence in your cuaderno from la A a la Z, from A a la Z, and then do exercises three and four. In exercise four, you have to um, complete the sentences with the verbs we use in, we match in number three. Number one, my favorite celebration takes place. Number two, I really don't like to stand out from other people and attract attention, yes? So stand out, be different from others, yes? My husband doesn't like standing out, yes? Okay, good. Well, um, 
I really don't like to stand up, yes, from other people and attract attention, yes, okay. Um, feel like, this afternoon I feel like going to the cinema. This weekend I feel like going to the cinema, but we can't, yes. Number four, try it out. Number five, put on. Number six, lift up, okay. And in exercise five it says, which festival described in the article would you prefer to go and why yes okay so you have to think about uh, the one that the festival described there from a described there from a to d and choose one and say why you would like to be there i did it with the ones i projected yes the coachella festival shall we go to page 104 yes and this is the time that uh, you have to be prepared for writing own examples because we are going to revise uh, relative clauses, okay? Is it clear? So, put the date on page 104 and be prepared, yes? Okay, good. So, it says, uh, what are the most popular quiz, quiz shows, yes, in your countries? So, um... I think you all know what a quiz show is. Yes, okay. Do you know this? Do you know this? Who wants to be a millionaire? Yes, okay. Who wants to be a millionaire? Okay. Do, would you like to go there? Do you like quiz shows? Yes. Hmm. There was one in Spain that, uh, I, there is one in Spain, but it, it, is, it started many years ago and all the people, uh, it was at 7 more or less in the afternoon, 7 p.m., and all the people, yes, uh, like to see it, yes, because it was very interesting and you also uh, could win, you could also win a lot of money if you answer, because there were many levels, yeah, if you answer many, many interesting questions, yes, but I'm not very interested in this kind of quiz shows, yes, okay, well, yes, of course, you have many uh, participants, yes, okay, and you have to answer different questions, and this is the thing, that it's with timing, and I think, I, I always think about it, because I have seen this, I saw this um, quiz because when you are uh, on television, yes, I think you, you, you watch it, yes, but I think the question is the time, the timing, yes, I think they are in a way, they are trained, yes, because, you know, uh, with the tick-tock, tick-tock, yes, okay, maybe you can be nervous, yes, so, uh, I want you to talk, describe the picture, and say, if you would like to go there, if you would like to see it, yes, or if you if you would like to participate on a quiz show, yes, okay? Well, um, we have one, yes, here, but I don't remember the name specifically, yes, but I want you to um, check in the Google, yes, okay? So, this was the quiz, yes. Okay, well, and it says, answer the quiz and compare your answers in pairs, then turn to page 140, yes, to check. So you have to do this quiz, yes, the quiz on page 104, and then you have to go to 140 to uh, check, yes, for example, number one, What's the day of the year when the English have firework party? This is very easy. Number two, what's the name of the writer who created, yes, the character of Harry Potter? Oh, this is very easy. Yes, okay. What's the name of the museum where you can see the Mona Lisa? Oh, it's very easy. Uh, number four, what's the name of the UK Arts Festival that takes place in August every year? Mm -mm. Number five, what's the name of the ship which sank the 15th of April in 1912 and which has 
the subject of many films. This is very easy. And number six, what's the name of the writer whose play has been running in London for over 60 years? This is very easy also. Okay, but uh, it says, when's the day? When's the day of the year? What's the day of the year when? Yes, okay. And you have the day, the day of the year when, what's the day of the week when you come to the classes? Yes, okay, to the classes of English. Yes. Um, what's the name of the writer, of the writer who wrote Romeo and Juliet? Yes, is it clear? Yes, okay. And then, uh, where is the museum? Where? Do you remember? Okay, so you have a place. You have a person, for people you use who, for places you use where, okay? Uh, that is the festival which I like, yes, okay? Is it clear? So you have for things to which, yes, el cual. Entonces, todos estos es repasos, pero te tienes que acordar cuáles van para personas, cuáles van para cosas. Yes, ok. Um, yes, ok. And do you know the name of the writer whose uh, plays are in bla bla bla? Yes, okay. Do you know the name of the person whose house is very luxurious? Do you know the name of the woman whose husband is my best friend? Is it clear? Do you remember? Entonces tenemos whose para cuando queremos expresar la posesión. Is it clear? Okay. Shall we go? Yes. Uh -uh. First of all, I want you to highlight in the quiz the examples, yes? All, 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 the relative pronouns, the relative pronouns must be highlighted. When, who, where, that, yes, which, okay? All the relative pronouns. And we're going to go to grammar reference 156. 156, okay? 156. <clears throat> and I want you to highlight like this because this is a review and you have to go to page 153 56 sorry and highlight the most common relative pronouns are these are called relative pronouns. Who refers to people. Do you know the name of the writer who wrote Romeo and Juliet? Which refer to things. Yes. That refer to people, people or things. Mary is the woman that went with me. Yes. To the trip around Europe. Who's possessive? Of who and which, when used after nouns referring to time, yes. You know the days when you have to come, yes. Where used for places, okay. Y después nos vamos a encontrar con defining relative clauses and non-defining relative clauses. And you have examples there. I want you to highlight the examples. That's the man who uh, 
I used to love. Is it clear? Yes, that's the man who I used to love. Then you have which. This is the PC which I use for doing my homework. Yes, and you have which or things. Yes, okay. That's the man, that's the girl whose father broke my mm, uh, <laughs> yes whose father that's the girl whose father is sitting next to me Okay, that's the girl whose father lives next to my house. That's the girl whose car is pink. Yes, okay, yes. Is it clear? That's the girl whose sister is my best friend. Is it clear? Okay, and then we have where? This is the house where I live. Is it clear? Oops. Okay, so you have all the defining relative clauses. These are defining relative clauses. That is the topic we are revising today. Yes, okay. Um, that's the woman. That's the boy I used to teach at school. También that usamos para personas y cosas. Is it clear? For things, yes, and objects, yes, okay? So, these are defining relative clauses. That's the man who I used to love. This is the PC which I use for blah, 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 okay? And now, you're going to go to non-defining relative clauses. Atención aquí, eh? Okay, is it clear? Es importante que te escribas los ejemplos. Now you have to write examples. Yes, you have to write examples. Yes, using defining relative clauses. And now we're going to go to non-defining relative clauses. Yes, to give an extra information. So non-defining, in a non-defining relative clause, you give an extra information. Look. San Martin... Okay, this is a very clear idea of a non-defining relative clauses. Relative clause, yes, relative clause. Okay, ¿qué podemos decir de más de esta persona, de San Martin? Por eso en el texto que tenemos acá, en la grammar dice, we use non-defining relative clauses to give, marca esto, extra information, yes, non-essential information, they tell us more about. ¿Qué nos van a decir más? Acerca de la cosa, el objeto, ¿ves? el tiempo o el lugar. ¿Está? Is it clear? Que ya está identificado en la frase. ¿Ves? Ahora te digo. 
cómo y qué es importante en una non-defining relative clause que van a aparecer comas. ¿Yes? Entonces, esa es una pista para saber si es una defining o non-defining relative clause. Entonces, aparecen las comas, you, have, you put comas, ¿yes? Use comas after the relative clauses, the relative clause, before and after. ¿Yes? Ok. Um, Are you ready? San Martin, the man who crossed the Andes, is an idol. Yo estoy dando información extra sobre esto. Ya sabemos que es el hombre que cruzó los Andes, pero también queremos agregar que es un ídolo. ¿Es it clear? Um, I will give you another. Formosa, the place where, acordate que acá tenés, yes, where I live, where I live, is very hot in summer. Is it clear? Yes. Entonces separamos entre comas. Formosa, the place where I live, is very hot in summer. Is it clear? Yes? Ok. Right. Mary. Whose husband is Tom. Coma, coma, ¿qué podemos decir sobre Mary? Is a very unhappy woman. Is it clear? So, what we know, what we know about Mary, that uh, she is very unhappy and that her husband is Tom. Yes? Is it clear? All right? Right. So now that you are ready, So we have defining relative clauses and the non-defining relative clauses. These are the non-defining relative clauses. Yes, and the non-defining relative clauses give an extra information and we separate them with commas. Okay, is it clear? We separate them with commas. So now you are ready to go to page 104 again. Yes, and solve the exercises there. Is it clear? Yes, all right. 104. And I want you to do exercise three. Are we there? Okay, do it. Stop the video and then we're going to uh, listen to the answer. Okay, so look at the underlying relative pronouns in the quiz. Okay, are you ready? Okay, a thing, yes, which or that, a person who, a place where, a possession whose, and a time when, yes. Number four, you have to read the extra, yes, extract from a guidebook, and what sort of event can you see there? Yes, subrayen por favor todos los relative, uh, los relative pronouns que encontremos ahí, ¿ok? Yes, ok. Well, the Edinburgh Festival, and you have to read this festival, the one that is in August, yes, it's one of the most important festivals in the world, yes, international professional performances um, are, um, take place there, yes, ok. Um, Well, you have also amateur shows, yes, okay, and you have to continue reading. So, you are going to read the extra and what sort of events can you see? Number four, are you ready? Good. Professional, experimental and amateur shows, all kind of 
artistic performances. And in exercise five, you are going to read the definitions below and decide if the underlying examples of relative clauses in the text are D, defining, or ND, non-defining. And you have the Edinburgh Festival, which is held every August, is one of the most famous art festivals in the world. Ya viste comas, entonces, ¿qué te va a dar la pauta? Que es una non-defining relative clause. ¿Por qué? Porque nos dice que se lleva a cabo en agosto y nos da otra información que es una de las más famosas, de, los más fam de uno de los más famosos festivales. ¿Es clear? Es súper fácil. Number two, dice, uh, many artists who perform at Edinburgh Festival, uh, many artists who perform at Edinburgh Festival when they were younger. Yeah, many actors who performed, yes, at the Edinburgh Festival when they were younger say that, blah, blah, blah. And of course, this is a defining, yes, okay? Who performed at Edinburgh when they were younger, okay? Right, el de siempre. Number six, yes, okay. So you're going to combine the sentences using defining or non-defining relative clauses. Do it. Number one, Fernando Botero, coma, was born in Colombia, coma, is famous for his figurative art. So, this is a non-defining relative clause. ¿Por qué? Porque decís, Fernando Botero, coma, who was, in Colo was in, born in Colombia, coma, is famous for. Eh? Is it clear? Right? Number two. At the age of 12, Fernando went to school for Matadors, where he stayed for two years. This is a defining. Number three. In 1948, Fernando produced some illustrations for a newspaper which made him some uh, him which made him some money. Yes, okay. This is a normal defining. Yes, okay. Four, he went to Madrid, comma, where he studied art at the academy. Yes, but this is normal. Yes, because if we want if you want to say a non-defining, see. ¿sí? Tiene que haber información extra. San Martín, acordate esta. The man who crossed the Andes is a miter. Yes, okay. Mary, the woman who lives next to my house, is very unhappy. Okay. He went to Madrid where he studied art at the academy. Um, his paintings often show very large people who Botero called his fat people. Yes, number six. His painting, coma, which cost millions of dollars, aquí tenés otra non-defining. His paintings, coma, las que costaron, yes, son muy populares, ¿está? His paintings, coma, which cost a uh, million of dollars, are very popular today. Yes, okay? Well, so that was all for today. I want you to um, practice defining and non-defining relative clauses. Write your own examples, yes, okay? And do the activities, yes, from the uh, exam maximizer plus the composition number two from the list. Is it clear? So, in this page, on this page, 61 and 61, you will practice non defining. Okay? Well, happy weekend. I hope you have a very nice weekend. See you next class. Bye bye, Peter.